Hi, I'm the mythology guy. I'm sorry it took me a little while to get to this. I've been sick for the past week, and uh, I wanted to obviously not be sick anymore when I took a look at this trailer. This looks like it's the first, like, full trailer and not just some teaser or snippet or whatever. I've got my Camp Jupiter shirt this time. I wanted to mix it up a little. You know, didn't want to wear the same shirt in every single video. But regardless, uh, let's take a look at this. Um, three, two, one, boom. Perseus. That's me. Mm -hmm. That's who you're named after. It's good to see because he's he into a mythology this because time, unlike the movie. And kind and Man, that blonde ones. hair does not look right he on Percy. It's just as a book reader, you know. I'm used to the world feeling weird to me. Yeah, there's the bully character. <laughs> Do -do -do. Got the dyslexia there. But, uh, Mercy, you are Pegasus. And, we're ready to hear the and there's Chiron. I'll talk about that. Percy, the Do -do. I have told you got Ares. Still no fire for eyes. I, I really want the fire for eyes. Hey, we got Cerberus. Nice. Okay. Pretty cool. Cerberus exactly how I pictured him. I'm guessing that's Clarice. Again, like, not quite like the book. Is the Minotaur on all fours? That's interesting. Hmm. I'm guessing that's Poseidon. Oh, cool, they got the electric spear from the book. That's nice. I like that. Ah, still playing the Riptide music. Is that the Oracle? What is that? Yeah, Annabeth, Grover. Oh, great! They've got the invisible cap. It would be ridiculous not to. try <laughs> again? Okay, that's a little funny. Got the little ride where she, you know, builds the chemistry. <laughs> Was the spider swarm the first? Oh, the underworld. The underworld looks pretty cool. Got the Hotel Lotus. Fight with Ares. Good. Okay, so the Minotaur does get up. Okay, good. Looked a little weird. It had some floppy looking ears. Maybe I won't even need a sword. I'm gonna need a sword. <laughs> ah, Chimera's looking pretty good. Yeah, I knew he was gonna say that. Got the fire breath, nice. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what did that say, the 20th? I think it said the 20th. Um, okay, um, honestly, uh, like, as a trailer goes, pretty good trailer. Like, um, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through it now. Uh, Hold on, let me just check, make sure the... Yeah, audio's good. Okay. All right. Um, let's let's take a little look-see-duck at a couple of things. First of all, uh, what, what did that say? First of all, wait, uh, let me see. Can we see the snake tail on the chimera? What do we get? I can't really tell. I'm sure it'll be there, though. Okay, we get... Blah, 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 blah. Two episode premiere. Okay, cool. Yeah, and it's streaming on the 20th. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's just go back to the start. I'm guessing, yeah, he's younger here. This isn't like 13-year-old Percy. This is probably 7-year-old Percy. He sounded younger. Again, like, um, I'm, I'm not really feeling Percy with blonde hair. I, I was hoping they were going to, like, give him a wig or dye it or something, but I guess they're not doing that. Okay. Um, are his eyes even green? I don't I don't know. Um, got the dyslexia. Yeah, like, a lot of stuff from the books, so that's pretty good. I'm sorry if my voice is a little hoarse. Like I said, I'm recovering from a sickness. And now we've got... <laughs> so, um, I know this from the last uh, trailer. Um, apparently they've changed Chiron's race as well. For anyone who doesn't know, this is Chiron. Sorry, spoiler for, like, something that's revealed very early on. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's Chiron. Now, um, I, I, you guys know how I felt about the Annabeth casting. I was like, look, like, no hatred to the actress, but that's, that's just not how I picture the character, because, you know, I'm a big fan of the books. I've read the books. I even have the comic book, um, 
somewhere. Wow, where did I put it? <laughs> oh, um, okay. I was about to pull it out, and now I don't remember where I left it. Well, that's uh, embarrassing, <laughs> but yeah, I've read the books, I've read the comics, and uh, yeah, you know, it's just, um, it's a little like, you know, it takes you aback when a character doesn't look the way they did in the books. Um, but, you know, the way a lot of people, like, responded to me, and you guys were really mature in your reaction, thank you for that, like, no one was calling me racist or anything, but, like, a lot of people were saying, like, well, yeah, but the thing about Annabeth is, like, her character isn't defined by her race, you know, like, um, like, the reason, like, you can't, like, change a character like Frank Zhang is his character ties directly into his Chinese heritage, Annabeth isn't like that and I'm like yeah true again I I have my own personal preference but I see what you're saying here's the difference here though this is a literally a Greek mythological figure whose legend has been around for thousands of years like I also heard apparently Zeus is black and it's like well Zeus can change his form so that doesn't exactly break things but Chiron can't so um what's up with that <laughs> Isn't that a little, uh, isn't that a little disrespectful to Greek heritage? <laughs> like, like in the same way, like, you know, when I talked about the Gods of Egypt movie, I was like, why are all these characters so pasty white and British? Like, all these Egyptian gods and Egyptian figures, it's kind of ridiculous. Well, same thing here, guys, isn't that? Well, and look, no, no problem with, like, no disrespect to the actor. I'm sure he's great, but, like... You know, when you adapt something, don't you want it to kind of, you know, represent the thing you're adapting? I mean, Rick did such a great job of that in the book. He did such a great job of creating original, diverse characters and putting them in these scenarios. But instead, it looks like now we're just randomly changing things. I know there's a lot of Greek people in my audience. Um, can you tell me what you think of that? Like, because um, I'd, I'd really like to know what the actual Greek people... Uh, feel about this like in my Cleopatra video I was very happy to see a lot of Egyptian people commenting in that what they thought and uh, so yeah if there's any Greek people I'd really love to hear what you think um all right anything else I want to talk about uh got the little red ball and Cerberus Cerberus looks great I've, I've got no issue with that um then we've got uh I'm guessing that's Clarice which Again, like, another character's race has been changed. Same thoughts that I had with Annabeth, really. Um, also, she's not... Okay, maybe this isn't Clarice, I don't know. But if that is Clarice, why isn't she bulky? She's not bulky. She's, like, she's shorter than most of the people here. That doesn't look right. Clarice is supposed to be so buff. Oh, oh, I don't know. Um, like, uh, yeah, then we've got, uh, I'm trying to get it. Here we go. I'm guessing that's Poseidon. Um, I was hoping uh, he'd have, like, more of a Hawaiian shirt, but, uh, or is this Poseidon? Well, yeah, there's multiple thrones. It's gotta be. Like, so, yeah. Um, I, I know I'm being really nitpicky here, but I'm a, like, big book reader. I'm... And, I'm, and oh, by the way, vibe of the trailer was great, so now I'm nitpicking. That's the thing here. Um, probably the Oracle, not really sure entirely. This scene was pretty funny. And uh, what else we got? Um, I'm, yeah, he's on Mount Olympus here, clearly. Mount Olympus looking uh, pretty cool, actually. Oh, I really like the floor. That looks really cool. All right. Uh, Underworld, here we go. Yeah, I, I love this. How instead of like in, in that Clash of the Titans movie, you could still see the sky in the underworld for some reason. Here you can very tell you're... Very tell. Here you can very easily tell you're in the underworld, you're underground and stuff. Like, yeah, here we've got the knights. And if it's like the books, as they continue walking, uh, two soldiers from different eras will keep appearing. Like there will be like a couple of like modern day skeleton soldiers and stuff like that. So that's, uh, that's gonna be cool, I'm sure. We got the Hotel Lotus and Casino, the only good part of the movie. And, uh, yeah, we got the Minotaur. Where's that? Okay, I'm not gonna search all over for it, but it looked like there was a scene where the Minotaur was standing up and it had, like, really floppy ears or something. 
I don't know what that was about. Maybe there's a type of bull that's like that. Um, I don't know. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so, um, the vibe felt good. I love that Riptide song. It, it, I feel like it fits really well, and obviously since his sword is named Riptide, it makes a lot of sense. Um, the effects look pretty good. I love all the little nods and winks to the book and everything. It's just, like, I really wish the characters looked more like the characters. And, um, I don't know, you might tell me, like, because, again, some people have been saying, well, you know, this show's not for you. Like, this is for, like, a new generation. It's not for the book readers. And I'm like, you know, maybe you're right. But if that's true, then that kind of hurts. Because, you know, um, I thought it was for the book readers. You know, I thought it was for people like me who grew up with this series and, um, really connected with this series and really loved it and have, you know, been supporting pretty much all of Rick's work since then. Um, so if it's not for me, okay, maybe it isn't, but it hurts a little <laughs> if it's not for me. I'm like, oh, <laughs> um, yeah. And, you know, some, some people are probably thinking, well, you know, what are they supposed to do? They have to have some black characters in there, and it's like, well, I don't think you have to, but it's good to. But there's this character in the books named uh, Beckendorf, who um, had way too little uh, screen time, or, well, page time, because it's a book. He had way too little page time, and I personally think if you want to, uh, like, um, show him more in the show, that would be very welcome, because then it could make what ends up happening all the more emotional. I'm not going to spoil it, but something happens... And I think if you really give us more time to connect with that character, like, you can uh, make things pay off a lot better later. And also, when we get to Heroes of Olympus, let me tell you something. If Leo, who is my second favorite character after Percy in the whole series, is not Mexican, I'm gonna get really mad. <laughs> like, like uh, Leo is so great. Um, yeah, like, it's just, uh, I'm not gonna harp on it too much. I think you guys get what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Uh, but what did you think of the trailer? Um, are you excited for it? Um, are you mad at me for what I said? You can, you can say if you are, but I, I will also ask you this. Would you rather I be disingenuous with you? Would you rather I lie? <laughs> like, I'm, I, I, I've always promised to be honest with you guys. I hate it when, like, a YouTuber or stuff is just being fake. Um, but so yeah, those were my honest thoughts. And honestly, I'm, I'm thinking about just making a video, um, talking about how I connected to this series and why this series is important to me. Because honestly, I really did connect with this book series and it was so special to me for a lot of reasons. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got a lot of Rick Riordan and Rick Riordan Presents stuff up on my shelf. Um... But, uh, yeah, December 20th, people keep asking, are you going to do videos on the show? Of course, of course I'm going to do videos on the show. I usually wait for a show to finish and then binge the whole season and do a video, but with this series, I'm, I think I'm going to make an exception. I think I'll talk about the episodes episode by episode, just because, A, this is way bigger to me than other shows are, and B, I already know what's going to happen in the story because I've read the books, so... I don't really need to wait and binge it. I can watch it episode by episode without being like, ooh, what's going to happen next? I know what's going to happen next. Um, so um, just let me know. Do you guys like that? Do you like that I would uh, do it episode by episode? Would you rather I do the whole season? And yeah, overall, what are your thoughts? Um, please don't attack each other in the comments. Just be civil with each other. I think it's important to be able to talk about stuff like this without getting shut down. And uh, that's about all I have to say. I do not know how to end videos.